Hey folks, TNT Neon. I'm gonna show you how you can. Uh, I'm gonna show you three ways on how you can measure for uh, takeoff on the right takeoff for your heli, which will be right about here for a takeoff. And also, it'll show you. I show you how to three ways to show you how to zero your uh, your pitch out at half throttle. Um, always I got my son Jaquan recording. Uh, hmm. Alright, so first I'm gonna show you right here just folding the blaze, folding the blaze, going to your pitch curve, going to your pitch curve, and putting your blaze. At half, at half, at half throttle for pitch. Right here, if you see, right here, if you eyeball it, a customer showed me this at Hobby Town. So, if you eyeball it, you see that it's sitting straight and level, and it's not not flapping down like like that or up like that. You want it flat like that. That's one way of checking. That's for checking um, zero pitch. Also, another way is you can take your tape measure. Can't see. It. You take your tape measure here. I have a mark at five eighths and three quarter. So, at down stick, the top of the swash is here at five eighths on the ruler and that's with the ruler standing on the skids so you go from five eighths and give it a full pitch it goes three quarters so that's a perfect travel from top to top is a good travel so top of the swatch plate here and top of the swatch plate here all right and this right here would be in the middle top of the swatch plate will be in the middle right here for zero pitch. All right. Another way you can do this to get a zero pitch, to get it taken off where you want it, is going here into your sub tram, which you see I have nothing in my sub tram, is turning it to high at 20 to get a zero pitch there. All right. The third, the fourth, there's another way you can do it is basically take your swash linkages and turn them up two turns a piece so you won't have to use uh, a sub tram in the pitch. That's only for the people, you know, wanting to do it mechanically right before going in and doing it um, in the radio. So, like I said, they three ways. Uh, they three ways of checking it. Um, also, here, if you want to check pitch, how much travel you getting in pitch? <coughs> yeah. How much travel you got in pitch? Right here. You see, I have it marked half, and I have it marked seven eighths. So it's getting the same amount of travel both ways. This right here is at uh, dead stick with my throttle hold on, which is showing, which is showing pitch. So this right here is a negative pitch. Let, let me get it right here. Bear with. All right, this right here. All right, let's get it. All right, right there is, is a half. And when you give it positive pitch, it goes seven eighths. So that's equal amount of distance for your, uh, for your, uh, your travel on pitch. Uh, put it at half, half stick. All 
All right, half stick. You see, I'm in, I'm right here a little below three quarters. So that's half stick right there. That's a full positive. That's a full negative. So my half stick is right there. So that's in between. So that's a good travel amount of distance. <clears throat> oh. I just want to show people that the, that was, you know, if the, the helicopter was taken off at the second notch below, second notch below half, that will also cause for when you get ready to come down, it will cause it to start landing right about, it'll start landing, try to start landing right about in here. And every, so right in here is a is, is good spot for taking off and a good spot for landing. So right, right about in here. So this is just a little quick tip on how you can check pitch, how you can check your travel <coughs> on your swatch plate and everything. Um, as you see here, I done added a little carbon fiber tail fin to it. Um, left over from my MSR. So, all right, as I always say, this is, God is good, God is wonderful, God is great. As I always say, TNT out, and have a blessed and wonderful day.